no use to sit and wonder why, baby. If you don't know by now. Hello, everybody. This lesson is not going to be an exercise, but actually, I wanted just to stop for a minute and make sure that we are on the same page and that we actually understand that piano can be very simple because all those chords that we are talking about, we can breathe life into them. And all the bass lines and the inversions, they don't mean anything unless we have a playing pattern that goes with them. For example, a simple playing pattern like Let It Be that sounds like this, where we just, in each beat, we are just playing the, the whole inversion. Now, what I will want to show you in this lesson is practically this pattern because it also works for many, many, many other songs. So you want to grab control of it. And just something to, again, understand that for me it took a long time to understand is that music is really repetitive. Just find um, a playing pattern that works for this song and just keep playing it and the song will sound great. Later, if you want to spice it up and play around with the playing pattern or add some or play some arpeggio patterns um, like this. So definitely go for it. But to reach those places, first of all, if you want to be able to play them smoothly. So first of all, gain full control of all of your inversions and of your bass line in your left hand. Anyway, let's begin and let me show you a basic playing pattern that you can always work with. Let's start. All right, and here we are. And like I said, this is going to be the playing pattern from Let It Be and from many other songs. I can think of um, just a, from the top of my head of 10 Randy Newman songs that, uses, that use this same pattern. Um, Elton John, for example, usually goes for more complicated patterns and arpeggios. But anyway, let's begin with this one. And then I'm going to give you a list of some other songs that it works on. You can use it on any other song. Sometimes it won't fit as well, but it will work. Uh, it won't fit the rhythm. So it won't, will sound a bit weird. Anyway, enough talking, let's begin. So let it be, the chords that we have are C, G, A minor, and F. And as you noticed, I am always using inversions, so I am staying close and I don't need to move uh, all over the keyboard, so it's comfortable for me and it sounds good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So this is about the rhythm about the tempo of the original song, even a bit slower, but you can feel free to slow it down even a bit more when you want to work on it. And what we're going to do is, as you can see, each time there is a new chord, we play just one time on the bass note. Here I doubled the bass note, but you don't have to do it. It's actually easier if you just play it here and then, you know what, we'll get to the bass line in a second. But the main thing that happens here when it comes to the playing pattern is that with the right hand, we just play all the inversion at once. And again, as you can see, I got a double G notes here. It's totally cool. And uh, we just play all the notes of the inversion at once with each beat. So it sounds like this, right hand only. One. on it goes. Now you can pay attention to how I am using the pedal and I'm pressing it down and lifting it for just a tiny bit of time just between each chord so that we won't have mud. So we don't want that kind of mud, we want the playing to sound good. And then you also want to make sure that when you play you press down the keys, you don't want to do that too strongly, but you want to do that with emotion, not too hard, and get a feeling for it. So not like this, but instead. Da, 
that's another thing that you want to pay attention to. And besides that, so, all right, so far we got the right hand of the basic playing pattern that we were talking about. And then we want to also pay attention to the left hand. And on the left hand, this is a basic bass line that I'm going to show you for Let It Be. And from here, you can take those tips and move them to any other song. So place down your fingers so that your first finger is on the first bass note that we're going to use which is the C note of the C chord. And then after that, we know that the next, so we're going to play it once. And then we're going to play two times on the right hand. And then we know that the next chord is a G. So we are going to play the root of the G, which is right here. We can also play more complicated um, bass lines and use the five degree of the G chord which is the D over here makes it fuller but for now leave it and let's keep it basic so as I said the first chord was C then we move to G so our um, fifth finger the thumb presses down the G dun, 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 dun. now our next note is going to be an A because the next chord is the A minor but instead of moving up here to the A, which is not really a comfortable move or a right move, um, piano teachers would say, so what you want to do is you move down from here, you stretch down the pinky, down to the A right here, and then since you moved down here, so make sure that the rest of your hand um, gets back to this position of one, two, three, four, five, just like how we were right here on the C. This is the basic stance, you can call it, for the bass notes. And then the next chord is going to be F, so we can stretch our thumb from here, here. And then back to the C, and we take our fingers right here so that the C is going to be played with the pinky, with the first finger. Dum, dum, dum. And this is it. So this is one playing pattern that you can use for many other songs. As I said, I will give you a list below of some songs that this pattern works with. And from here on, Keep advancing, keep trying out new stuff, and I will see you in the next lessons. Have a great time. Goodbye.